All right, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos. We're going to cover a couple of different topics. Number one, seeing if the video is even worth making. Then we're going to go through a couple of different options on how to actually make those videos using different AI softwares, and then how we can optimize our video to make sure it gets a lot of views and traffic. So let's get started. First and foremost, we always want to make sure that we know if a video is actually worth making. So what I do is recommend a software here called Tube Buddy. It is a Chrome extension that will actually go into your browser and help you with YouTube based keywords. There's a lot of different uh, keyword tools that are available out there, but they're not always going to give you uh, keyword information on what is ranking and trending on YouTube. So we want to use one that is specific to YouTube. Now, what this does is it connects with the channel that you have created, so it can give you two different scores, whether we call it weighted, and what this is is a nifty little way of determining your channel versus competitors in the same area for that keyword to see if you have a decent chance of ranking. So if you actually find that you have zero chance or very low chance of ranking, then you are much less likely to actually get views on that video and it actually go anywhere. It does not 100% mean that that's the case, but more than likely. I literally took this in, uh, which is gonna be the topic of this video, how to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos. And in a weighted sense on my channel, it's 100 out of 100. So it's a no brainer to make sure that I create this video. So when we check this, it gives us information about what the competition looks like and so forth. We could also get an idea of trending information. Right now, there is no trending interest over time, but we're still gonna make this video. So it is a good way to start. The next thing we need to do is determine how we wanna make that video. Now, some of you are gonna to wanna to get on camera yourselves. Some of you are gonna to wanna to create faceless style videos like I'm doing here, which is just using a screen uh, casting software. In particular, I'm using Camtasia, but there are others and I'll be sure to link to those below. And we can also use additional types of AI softwares that include ways that we can generate YouTube videos from a script. Now, if we jump over here, we could see, for example, a software called Pictory. This is very uh, popular right now. You can actually paste in content or a script here that is generated, as I'm going to show you a moment from ChatGPT, and it will auto generate the video for you, including video scripts. We're going to get to that in a moment, but I'm going to jump over here and show you something else. You can also use an AI avatar based software. I talk about these, a number of them on my channel. These are very cool. Essentially, what they allow you to do is to have an AI generated avatar. There are many different options for that. You could see here as I scroll through, this one in particular is Synthesia. And what will happen is you can do the same thing as with Pictory. You could paste your script down here and, of course, create slides and add videos and so forth. And when you generate the video, the AI avatar will speak your text so it looks like a person but of course these are not perfect you could see the mouth is not perfect on these videos so we oftentimes minimize them so that they're not the central focus of the video these can get a little pricey so there are different options synthesia is one i do oftentimes recommend pipio because it is a newer kit on the block and it is much more cost effective but that is an option as well now how do we use chat gpt for making these videos so we go over to ChatGPT and what we can do, no matter what level you've got, whether it's the free one, the plus or ChatGPT4, I do recommend four because the quality is best, then what we can do is create our video. So if we go over here to this topic, for example, how to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos, then we want to be able to talk about in that video things that are most important. So what we do want to do here is to go over to YouTube and see what people are talking about when it comes to that keyword. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna to go to YouTube and then click in there. Now what we see is we see the top rated videos that come up and of course you see the TubeBuddy information right over here to the side, giving us information on how many people are searching for this, yada yada. And as I go through here, it says using ChatGPT to make videos, et cetera. Uh, how to make YouTube videos, no fo face or voice needed. So people are looking at different ways for different reasons, full tutorial. So a lot of different types of headlines. One of the most effective ways that we can use ChatGPT right off the bat is to try to generate a title idea that can work really well. 
So I'm going to go over here and we're going to keep that model the same just for the demo purposes. And I am going to write in here, I want to create a YouTube video with the focus keyword, how to, and I already lost it here, how to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos. How to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos. Here is a list of the top titles for videos that are already ranking. Create a list of potential titles that still use the primary keyword. I'm going to put focus in here just so that it's the same. Okay, so we're going to do that and let ChatGPT create some titles. And it's gonna whip up a list here. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're gonna let the AI determine what kind of title is going to work in amongst this list. You can always add more titles. You could do five, you could do 10 if you're seeing certain themes. But what ChatGPT is going to do is to create basically a good mixture. So let's go through this. How to use ChatGPT to make YouTube videos a step-by-step -step guide. So it used the step-by-step -step approach. Uh, ChatGPT tutorial, how to create engaging YouTube videos, how to use ChatGPT for YouTube video ideas and scripting. So there's a bunch of different really good options in here, okay? So now depending on your belief, uh, some people believe that the keyword focus keyword needs to maintain this exact, uh, exact keyword. And that might be the case that you need to do. I more often than not will do that, but it does not mean that it has to in order to rank. Because remember, there's more things that about ranking than just making sure that you're keyword spamming that exact focus keyword. So what we're going to do just for the purposes of this video is we're just going to go back here and we're going to grab this first one. Okay, and we could just go down here into the search box and then say, or the prompt box, I should say, create a an outline for number one. And what it's going to do is it's going to create an outline for the first video that we can review. How to use ChatGPT, blah, 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 explanation. Okay, we've got all of these different things. So what you want to do is you want to review this to see if it has the optimal content that you want for a video. And of course, this is going to have a lot to do with how long the video is, depending on the topic as well. So we're going to take that information, blog outline, let's say looks good. And we're going to say create a... YouTube script for the video. Oh, a YouTube video script, I should say. And also recommend visual elements. Okay, so I like doing that because that way it'll give me an idea of what visual elements we want. And you see that what ChatGPT does for us is it tells us certain things like up here, it's kind of scrolling pretty fast here, but it'll say, opening shot of a computer screen with the ChatGPT website open. So that might be a good visual that we want to use. Then we'll have the voice over here that tells us what to say. And then it'll say cut to a shot of a person typing on a keyboard. And then we have more voice information, etc. So as the visual elements, here are some ideas. And it's telling us some uh, recommendations on what we might want to do in terms of text overlays and B-roll footage. Okay, so now what we can do is we can grab this information here and we can go over into our software. Okay, and we could just go to, let's say, Pictory um, and then drop that in here. Now, what we do have to do is we have to do the cut to that and then the voiceover information. So let's just get rid of this real fast. Boom, okay, so there is our script, all the voiceover information. So what I'm gonna do is click proceed. We're going to give that a moment here. Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is select this template here and let's make it 16.9. So I'm going to continue with that and I'm going to pause until this generates. All right, so our video has generated and here's where we're at. So you can see the Pictory, what it has done is separated this into scenes. So a certain amount of text, it is kind of divvied up. And if we scroll down through the bottom here, we have all of those different scenes. It looks like we've got about 16. Now what we can do to make uh, life simple is go back over here and we could see if the scenes that we're getting correspond to generally what would be recommended. So for example, open shot of a computer screen with ChatGPT website open. Now guaranteed that's not gonna be the first one. 
but we see that it has this. Welcome to our video on how to use ChatGPT. So we could probably change this up. And how we would do this is we would go over here to visuals, for example, and library. And we can say laptop. Okay. And we can grab onto that. And we see that this is here. So we can click on that and it's going to move that over here. Okay. So we could actually do YouTube. That's another one as well. So we can go YouTube and it does have something for YouTube. So we can actually stick that over here. Okay. Or we could use this one. So there's a couple of different options and then we can use those recommendations to go back and forth and have those cut screens. Okay. So now we have a couple of different options here when it comes to this. Now it's common for people to just upload honestly what I call junk videos where what they do is they just stick the script in here and then they use the generic uh, kind of uh, video or pictures. I do recommend that you update that depending on the kind of video that you're creating. But one of the things that is my pet peeve is using 100% AI generated voices because I don't think it sounds good and I think that it will oftentimes uh, give you low view counts and results. So and Pictory in particular allows you to record your own voiceover. And this is what I highly recommend that you do. So of course you don't have to be on video. So but we should do is have voice. So you could say record voiceover. And what it'll do is it will walk you through scene by scene. And you can click on this button right here. And it'll start that timer and all you do is read the text. And then once you read the text with your own emotion and so forth, then you hit the end button and you go to the next scene and you continue recording. Now, based upon that, it's going to do a couple of things. When you read in your own voice, it's going to give you an idea of how the text reads on that scene and also if it's grouped together correctly and how long that scene duration is. So, for example, if you have to read extremely fast, right, to get all of that in, you're going to say, okay, this scene needs to be about eight to 10 seconds because me reading it verbally or out loud is going to take quite a while, okay? And that way the person isn't having to speed read what you have on the screen and then it's already moving to the next scene. So that makes it very helpful. You wanna give a good video experience, okay? So we go through those and then at the end we click download, it will generate our video and then there you go. We actually have a YouTube video. And what we used is we used our ChatGPT to create our script and we carried that over into Pictory. Now, if we wanna do that same thing with Synthesia, it's pretty much identical. What we do is we paste in our script here and then what we can do is manually go through scene by scene. Now, what uh, Synthesia does not do is automatically generate those scenes. You actually have to manually do it. So if you don't like going through and having to um, select all your scenes and the AI avatar isn't a big deal for you, then you'll probably want to select something like Pictory. If you want everything to be customized and have a talking head as well, then something like Synthesia or Pipio is going to be a better option for you. Now, when you're done with that, then we want to go back to ChatGPT and we want to do some additional things. We, of course, have a good headline. Now, what we also want to do is to generate a list of potential tags. So what we can do with this and tags are important in the process because it sends signals to YouTube to help them understand what the video is about and who to show it to. So, of course, you could ask ChatGPT to do this, create a list of potential tags for this video. It's going to go through that. And there you go. So it's going to say, for example, ChatGPT, YouTube videos, video transcription, etc. So of course, these are all going to be relevant tags based on the script. And it says it right here, relevant to your video and your target audience. Okay, so additionally, another way to go, if you have TubeBuddy, then you can go in here and see what kinds of common tags are being used for that keyword. So of course you could use ChatGPT, but just like when we're talking about using keyword tools, keyword tool is going to give you very specific information. ChatGPT is going to give you some general information because it doesn't have access to the internet. So what we can do is go over here and see which ones in here might be relevant. And of course we can cross reference it with the ones that we find in ChatGPT to create the most effective tags. Now the other thing that we can do here is, is getting a good description for our YouTube video. So we can go down here and we can say create a YouTube video description. 
utilizing the keywords or the tags listed above when it makes sense to do so. And sometimes it just got into a habit of writing this because obviously ChatGPT is not just gonna put a bunch of jumbled words, but um, it can sometimes help improve the quality. So as we go through here, it's going to take that list of tags and considering what we have had in this conversation previously, and it's going to write a relevant description that is based upon what this video is about because it actually knows what the script is. So we can take that YouTube description right there, and that would be pasted into the edit or the description section of our video. So we have a couple of different ways that we can optimize utilization of ChatGPT for making YouTube videos. We can get the script, we can create the title. We of course can get tags and we can go over and use an additional AI tool like Pictory or Synthesia or Pipio to actually create that video if you're not going to use a regular face-based uh, video. So I hope this has been helpful as a quick run through. If you like this video, of course, give me a like, thumbs up, comment down below what elements you want to see specific videos on. I'm happy to make those. And uh, of course, as always, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.